so in today's video we are going to uh, experiment with dates and their formats I have <coughs> this one uh, one of my slides up uh, so we're gonna we can quickly create this one um, let me see if I can copy paste it actually copy paste so I'm, we are creating a table but we are in master so I want to go actually into my um, let's go in Google so you see there is no um, table yet name student so I can go in here like this <coughs> and execute it the command completed successfully so if I am to go and refresh it I should see that I'm doing it really fast because you probably have seen all of my previous videos so you know <coughs> how to do all this so we just want to insert that uh, data into that and then play with the um, the date formats <coughs> so we can see student is here now for the date I let me actually make it bigger here so it should be better for you to can I crop it like this oh yeah I can so we don't need this all right so <coughs> date format <coughs> these are the columns names if you must so go with the uh, select star from <coughs> google dot no if we are already working in google so i'm not going to bother you with this command that uh, here it should be the next one <coughs> so we're gonna just write it here student let's see if we can get all the column names and we do <coughs> all right so insert into student let me copy this one <coughs> and if I can can but it's nope <coughs> okay right let's write it then <coughs> it says insert into student what are the values 100 so let's go with my name then <coughs> just for the sake of change so you know that it's not a blind copy and that's the format that I wanted to show you <coughs> the practicing is good I just uh, re refreshing everything here <coughs> let's see if I can mm. go to the home can I make it bigger here Over here. <coughs> so you can put anything in your name so you should know that okay this value that I'm modifying is actually this student name so I could keep it but since copy pasting I want to show you that okay uh, how to manipulate it when when you're um, doing you have to do this so you have a better understanding so names and everything is in single quotes it's the gender right there uh, this is the date of birth so it's, notice the date of birth uh, um, format it's uh, year hyphen then it's month and then it's day I should put that yeah so that's how you um, that's how this date format is by the way if you put double uh, um, um, hyphens uh, it means that it's a note and if you were to write uh, um, run the whole script this will be ignored and it will not error out <coughs> So these are just for your notes. So if somebody is reviewing your uh, queries, 
um, and in this uh, script and you can see okay what well, it this was a node it's not a mistake so <coughs> notice the date format it says year year month and date so same thing year month date and this is the time so if you were to uh, we passed date time so that's the date time format that's the um, now for the time it's uh, hour I believe then minutes then seconds and then this 190 is millisecond so that's how it goes I believe it's double n probably okay <laughs> so this thing should add this record with this date format I'm pretty straightforward I already told you so <coughs> if I am to oh no both these lines uh, if I execute it should give me a one row affected and if I am to go again here I should get the name and all that right pretty straightforward let's go <coughs> copy the next one let's copy the next one insert into student <coughs> student let's now check this one now change the uh, keep this name or change I want to make sure that I what I'm doing is actually the reason I'm ch may, uh, making this name change I have ex actually if you can see that I'm gonna show you you see yes name gender Mahesh Harika Harika I already created this when we were doing a class so I want to make sure that uh, <coughs> I don't accidentally uh, pull up uh, mess up uh, in front of the instructor I don't you know uh, pull up one of the uh, test one and if it has any error it, it will be embarrassing so that's why I'm doing ch making changes <coughs> here so let's go with SN <coughs> now notice the time format this one is different Wow this is year but it's not a year it's not 2010 <laughs> it's 2005 <coughs> excuse me so what do you think this will uh, but notice here what's happening is it's 10 it's month date year and then it's back to what we saw above the year month date <coughs> so what do you think it will be um, nice no, <laughs> you already know that now because of the let me go there <coughs> okay so what do you think this will be accepted uh, some of you who are paying attention they will say yes because uh, they seen that other table down here but uh, let's add it <coughs> my guess was that no it will not because I was uh, saying that uh, we have two date formats uh, one is back home and the other one is American so back it in my childhood I was used to this date format month date year but when we can move to America for a first few weeks let's say or months it was confusing con uh, yeah, remembering when doing this but uh, let's execute one row affected one row affected mean that the command was executed successfully so if I we were to see that uh, data we see it's it basically converted it 2005 10 10 is the month 21 is the date and 2005 is the year so it changed it uh, what happens is that we have another <coughs> acceptable format for date is month date oh no sorry it's uh, yeah month date year Oh, my, back home I was uh, 
um, <clears throat> like uh, um, growing up our date format was date then month then year <laughs> so that's why the confusion is but anyways we just learned that uh, month date year is another acceptable format uh, SQL will convert the date format into this default one which will always be year first then month and then date all right so let's go and So this time and all that. So let's go try another one. Into student. So this is where value passing now. This is current. So let's make it. Uh, gender. Oh, Aslan gender is male actually. Why it went to? I need to. Okay, never mind. I will actually use that for. Um, changing the name 2010 9 22 2010 same format same so what will happen here we are not passing the minis uh, the time in this format will it run or not but what i thought was uh, we null we have i think we haven't done the null thing the null command yet but null was that when you're passing a value and there's nothing when uh, I did the train one um, it leaves that blank so my guess was that in here the time the stamp will be zeroed out and let's see if that's the case <coughs> one row affected yes let's go run this one back and see what the output is so the output looks like zero to all zeros so there is no time <coughs> by default that should be 12 o'clock midnight right so all right so let's go to the next one <coughs> this should be the insert interesting one <coughs> So look at the uh, syntax now. The for the date of birth, we have been giving just the date of birth, right? This one we are passing date of birth and the time. So, like some of people, you will say your mom will tell you, "Hey, you were born at." Uh, 12 noon you were born in the early hours of morning some say you were born at midnight so this is uh, this is your date of birth but it's passing time as well here it's just a date no time but if you look at here we know that this will be zeroed out what will happen here will it add the time in there let's find out Oh well, my, my my guess was that it will ignore it because we are not passing it, so it should ignore it. Like uh, here, it zeroed out, so that was my uh, thinking. One row affected. Let's get the output. So you can see uh, everything is zeroed out here, and this got ignored because there is no place to put it. So rather than to give you an error, it's simply going to ignore it. That is a bad thing if you. Uh, while writing a query you have to be careful uh, if you insert data that's supposed to be there but you insert it into the wrong column that will be ignored and eventually it will not be in your uh, database <coughs> or table let's go for the next one <coughs> I'm saving time by uh, copy pasting I don't like uh, long videos <coughs> where it gets uh, uh, 
um, you know, boring. All right. So now we have uh, well these values. We have uh, look at the date format. Now we have this uh, backslash. So, but here we have still the hyphens. <coughs> so what will happen? Now I thought that it will error out. I was wrong. <laughs> One row affected, so it this one the backs. Uh, uh, since we do see it in every days, <coughs> uh, that uh, writing date format in this one where it's backslash, <coughs> so it's a acceptable form of date. And you can see 2011 8 25, it got added. It just ignored the fact that this one is backslash this one is uh, hyphens it says okay yeah it's a proper date format <coughs> you write it this way I write it that way just add it and be done with it <coughs> next let's go with the insert student all right so current can't not cannot be uh, may let's make it female and here make it uh, okay so what about this date format it says dots now again it will ignore the uh, sorry zeroed out all the uh, timestamp here but it's dot now but uh, is it still year month date year month date yes so <coughs> if you paid attention here it means that this will run as well one row affected and if I am um, to go here execute and you can see Rabia female and it got accepted <coughs> so this is the default one it will s convert everything into this one but it will take it in here so finally the last one is All right. So this one, when the instructor asked what it will do, I said that uh, there was a debate. <laughs> I said it will error out because of this right here, seventeenth. The reason is if we are to see this one, that uh, it should be month, date, year. Definitely, it's not an year, right? So it's a month. <coughs> if it's a month, there is no seventeenth month. So I was right. I was glad. If I am to execute, it's gonna say conversion fail when converting date or time from character string. So that's why this errors out. This will not add into your uh, date format or the uh, table. So you have to be very, very careful. Remember, it's always month, date, year, month, date, or month, date, year. There's no nothing else and the time will always be hours minutes seconds milliseconds <clears throat> so you have to pay attention and be vigilant with this one uh, remember uh, how I uh, learned was this YMD MDY so I it's in my mind so it's YMD and then other one is you move the y's to the ends this stays the same so it's either ymd or md y <coughs> like this all right so if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one